Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a bitmap image into a vector image in Corel Draw X4. So in this tutorial, the simplest way to do this is to use quick traces, which uh, just automates the entire process for you. But however, the uh, outcome of this uh, quick trace is not as high quality as if you w were to do it by hand. So only do this if you just want to get a bitmap out of the way quickly. Alright, so to do this, right click on it, on the image, and the very first thing that comes up is Quick Trace. And quick Trace automates everything and it gives you pretty much no control over the outcome, so I don't recommend it unless you really have no time. Uh, so to have a little more control, go down to Outline Trace and you get these six options here. Now I'll go over the differences in them later, but in the highest quality would be high quality image. Alright, so here you have the above is the um, original bitmap and below is the uh, vector that was created. As you can see there's not much difference, it did a fairly good job, um, but for other logos that are a bit more complicated it could have a different, a different outcome. So, uh, I'll just go over these options over here on the right a bit. Here you have the detail, which is the basic control here, going from bottom to top. But make sure you don't turn it all the way up top, because you run into problems like it being way too oversensitive, such as this line here is actually affected by the uh, relatively low resolution of the bitmap. So to counteract that, you just turn it down just a bit, and it gives you what you want, just a straight line. Uh, and the same kind of thing can be done with uh, the other two options up here, like smoothing. Uh, you can turn it all the way up, and it gives you kind of a cartoonish almost letters, which is not what you want. And if you turn it all the way down, it gives you very rough edges. So you have to balance that accordingly. For that, I'd say about there looks good, I think. And the corner smoothness uh, does a similar thing, only with the corners right here so we can turn that up a bit and that evens that out okay up here above what I just showed you uh, I have the type of image and to test what the others will do uh, of the six options you originally got and we can just go up here and it'll recalculate it and so line art it, as you can see up here especially on the border there's less colors there's only 10 this time as opposed to 50 something and it's better for simpler logos, even probably simpler than this. Uh, the other one that is used most often is Detail Logo. And this works pretty well for logos like this, and once again, it's a bit lower quality than Detailed uh, Logo, uh, I mean high quality image. Uh, it has 22 colors, as opposed to, let's see, 54. So once you have your image set up the way you like it, and press OK, and it'll give you this vector above your original uh, bitmap. And you can compare them, uh, see if you don't like something, go back and change it, and things like that. So, that's a quick way to make vectors in this program. I don't recommend it if you have a very detailed image, since the product is not very good, I recommend doing that by hand. But this is good for simple logos. Uh, thanks, that's it for now. This has been Kremlin for the Techies.